Chinese Academy of Sciences Key Laboratory of Solar Activity. Part of the National Astronomical Observatories was founded in 2008. It includes two research groups, the Solar Magnetism and Activity Group and the Solar Activity Prediction Center, and two observing stations, Waru Solar Observing Station and Mingantu's Observing Station. KLSA is a unique laboratory of solar physics in China, focusing on studying frontier solar problems, developing new techniques and solar telescopes, forecasting solar activity, and space weather to serve national key projects. KLSA is equipped with a series of advanced solar telescopes, including the world-class Solar Multi-Channel Telescopes, or SMCT, and the Chinese Solar Broadband Radio Spectrometer, or SBRS. The world-leading Mingan-2 Spectral Radio Heliograph, MUSER, MUSER is a new solar radio interferometric telescope array with 100 antennae and maximum baseline of 3 kilometers. It is a new generation radio heliograph and the major solar dedicated leading facility in the world for solar physics. It can obtain imaging observations of the sun over a wide frequency range, 0.4 to 15 gigahertz, with high resolution of time, space and frequency simultaneously. The other antennas in the world are either designed to observe only the radio spectra of the solar burst or at imaging the solar radio burst at a few frequencies. Mian 2 spectral radio heliograph can do both, observe the spectra as well as the location. So this is very important to understand this solar eruptive phenomena. Solar eruptions have the potential to disrupt the technology we rely on like GPS, radar, high-frequency radio communications between aircraft and air traffic control, and communication technology that relies on satellites such as cell phones, as well as electricity grid distribution networks. Our research on the prediction of solar activity and space weather will provide helpful information of solar eruptions. We are trying to tell when and how these eruptions will happen in the solar atmosphere and we are possibly impact on the Earth. We make use of historical and real-time data obtained from space and ground-based observations and study how to set up models for solar activity prediction. Some statistical and artificial intelligence method has been applied to the models. We investigate the fine-scale structures of flux drops and clearly shows the magnetic topology of flux drops. We also studied the interaction process of a solar filament with the nearby open magnetic structures. This movie shows the HF images from the new vacuum solar telescope at Fuxian Solar Observatory in our country. We also studied the evidence of sleeping magnetic reconnection we found that the sleeping magnetic reconnection shows the quasi-periodic pattern. Our findings provide new thinking for understanding the nature of magnetic reconnections. Also, we studied the coronal UV waves and found the secondary UV waves generated by the coronal UV wave. Waru Observing Station is dedicated to observing and studying solar physics. It houses the world-class Solar Multi-Channel Telescopes, or SMCT, and the Chinese Broadband Radio Spectrometer, or SBRS, famous globally for their high performance. We observe and study the solar magnetic field and its uh, activity. We have three sets of world-class solar telescopes, and uh, use this observation we have we have a lot of research. Based on the solar multi-channel telescopes long-term observation, we are able to provide the solar magnetic helicity evolution over solar cycles. This is a unique information and give important constraints to understand the solar cycle and the solar dynamo. The next generation telescope is AMS. It's an infrared magnetic field measurement telescope. It will be built in the southwest of China, near Tibet regions. It's using the uh, Zeeman splitting uh, principles in the physics. We're using the wavelength of 20.3 micrometers. That means it will be 500 times sensitive 
than the uh, such telescope here. KLSA publishes more than 60 peer-reviewed papers in international scientific journals each year. Many of the discoveries in these papers have brought international attention. Staff have achieved academic awards from international communities for their outstanding research. KLSA encourages scientific cooperation and communication. Each year, more than 20 researchers visit international universities and institutes, as well as more than 20 international astronomers visiting the Laboratory for Collaborations. KLSA also runs programs to support national, international collaborations on solar physics. KLSA actively carries out public outreach activities. More than 1,000 people visited Weru and Mingantu stations each year. The big questions uh, remain in the solar physics and the solar terrestrial physics uh, include uh, the nature of solar activity and uh, the solar dynamos uh, and uh, the corona heating. By involving in the several big uh, projects, uh, this include the main payload uh, for the first uh, Chinese space solar telescope. We are uh, responsible for the main payload, uh, the full-disc uh, solar magnetograph. We are also extend uh, MUSA to the metric and uh, dichometric uh, wavelengths and uh, a unique uh, IPS telescope to observe the solar radio emissions. We will also continue the Chinese National Science Foundation project observing the solar magnetic field at infrared wavelengths with high accuracy at the transverse component so that to improve its accuracy to be comparable with line of sight component. With this unique feature, we will be able to improve our knowledge to understanding those problems.